Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps updates roundup number 67. In this episode I'm going to show you some new cool and hidden features in 10 different Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with YouTube music and the most exciting change in this episode is the new real-time lyrics. So I'm going to play this song as an example go to lyrics and now you will see a totally different design with much bigger font and the app will automatically highlight the currently playing part. Not only this, but it's also interactive. If you want to jump to a specific part, simply tap on the equivalent text. But keep in mind that it doesn't work with each and every song. In my case here, when I play some songs like this one, I'm still getting the same static old design. So maybe it needs some extra time to roll out to all songs in the future. And the second change is under library. Now you have the ability to choose between the list view or the grid view by tapping this button at the top right corner and it will change based on the current view you have. Next, YouTube. And I will start with iOS because Google rolled out three new features to YouTube premium users on iOS. The first one is the new 1080p premium video quality that you can activate by going to the gear icon, then the quality, then advanced, and you'll find here 1080p premium enhanced bitrate. And as per Google, this will make the image crisper, especially if the video has tons of details and motion. From my testing, this option only appears if the video is uploaded to YouTube in 1080p resolution, but once you play a 4K video, you will not find it under the quality settings. Also, this option is only available on iOS for the time being because I couldn't find it on my Android phones. The second new premium feature is the ability to create a queue. So for example, I'm playing this video and when I tap and hold on another one, as you see here, I have play next in queue. And once I do this, it will show me a floating card at the bottom of the screen that will allow me to check my queue and start playing whatever video I want. Last but not least, YouTube premium users can now use SharePlay when they make FaceTime calls to watch videos with others. But unfortunately, FaceTime is restricted where I live, so I'm not gonna be able to show you the feature. Back to Android, and here I'm gonna show you a couple of new additions that you will also find on iOS. And the first one is the continue watching feature. Let's say you started a video on one of your devices signed in with the same Google account. Once you open the app, it will show you the player here at the bottom with the label continue watching so you can continue from where you left off. I talked about this feature before but it was only available on the web and this is the first time to see it on mobile phones. And the last new feature in YouTube is the new podcast tab in the channels page which will allow you to check the channels podcasts right away instead of searching for them. And by the way Google is also planning to include a separate section for podcasts in YouTube music but for now you can rely on the main YouTube app. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you 60 $16.23 which is very affordable. To complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method, input the details and once the payment is done you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code click on the view keys slash codes button then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation, and to finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. The next app we have is Google Messages and it got a couple of new features. The first one is the new counter that will show you how many unread messages you have. And instead of only showing a dot that represents a new message, not only this, but now you can pin up to five conversations instead of only three like before. Next, Google Photos. And now when you play some of your memories, you might get a screen like this saying, save this memory to find it again anytime. And it will give you the chance to add a title for the memory. And then you have two buttons. One is called save memory and one is called no thanks. When you put a title and save the memory, it will appear in the main photos view. So you can get back to it later or search for it if you want. And here's another look to the same exact thing. I'm not sure why there are two different looks, but this is another way it says here, add the title or adding a title makes it easy to find this memory in your photos view. And it's giving me here the option to add the title. 
And lastly, I got this new marble design in one of my memories, and this is the first time for me to see. Now let's move on to Google Maps, and the first change, when you tap on the mic icon, you will get a totally redesigned overlay card to search places using your voice, and it looks like Google Assistant, instead of getting that traditional design like the Google Play Store. The second change is the ability to voice search in Arabic language, and this is the new overlay card I got after tapping the mic before. Next, Google Contacts. And it only got one change, which is the new favorite contacts widget. Here I have it on my home screen. This is the smallest size you can get, and you can make it as big as the entire screen. And all you can do with this widget, when you tap on any of your favorite contacts, it will simply take you to the contact page. Next, the Google Play Store. And the first change I noticed is the new cards in the feed that will show you some updates about the apps and games and they have a title at the top left corner. And here's another example for these cards that I have over here. It says ends in four days. So it will give you quick updates in a new design. Secondly, when you go to the game or app page and then scroll down a bit, you will see a card that will let you know that now you can request to delete your data. And if you want to know more, you can tap on see details, scroll all the way down to security practices, and it will let you know that you can request from the developer to delete your data if you want. And lastly, when you go to the games tab and then choose other devices, now you can check what games you can play on your watch by using this filter at the top left corner, which will make it easier for you. In addition to two new categories, one is called relax with games for your watch, and the second one is called challenging games on the go. Next, the Google app. And the first change is under settings and then voice, and now you have the ability to use voice commands even if the device is locked while connected to a Bluetooth or wired headset. And you have a separate toggle for each one. But keep in mind that someone else may be able to use voice commands to access your personal data even if your device is locked. So keep that in mind before activating the feature. The second change is under the Google Assistant settings. And instead of showing you the currently used account front and center, now it's hidden under the profile menu. Now let me show you a couple of small tweaks in two different apps. And the first one is Google Calendar. Now we've got the new profile menu we first saw with Google Messages. The second app is Google Wallet. And you might see some new animations when you successfully make payments using the app. And here's the first example I have and this is the second one. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature in Google Apps so I will include in my future episodes. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.